Hello, thank you for joining me. Today I'm doing a psychic reading for Prince Harry. I think we call, still call him Prince Harry on the eve of his new book coming out called Spare. And uh, we're going to see how what, what the reaction appears to be, or what it may be. And the uh, spirit guides will tell us, I hope, and we'll take a look at the next uh, 14 days for Harry to see what the response and the rest of his goings on as well for the next couple of weeks and um, see if it's changed since last time I read for you. Thank you so much for joining me from all over the world. I do appreciate it, and uh, it's nice to have you with me. Let's have a look, look at some of these cards, and then we'll look at some oracle cards for him and see what the response is going to be and uh, to his new venture. Right, the book comes out any minute tomorrow, I think. And today is the 2nd of January 2023. I'll pick out the negatives first. And you may have seen, if you know about tarot cards, you may have seen the, the tower card. And they've all been shuffled. People are falling from a, a building. Not a very nice looking card. It means turbulence, upsets. This, re this reading tells me, but well, I expected this, that the new book's going to cause an awful lot of turbulence, an awful lot of problems and uh, there's tears of regret in this reading as well so I think although he may not admit it I think Harry will regret releasing this book I think he's regretting a lot of the things he's done recently but that's the main negative the rest of it's not too bad the tower from the major arcana can mean tough goings on and it's I'm looking at a couple of weeks here so this card here the four of swords which would be this four of spades in an ordinary deck of cards, if any of you play cards, that card shows, it means stress really. Sleepless nights, stress. Prince Harry has stress in his readings all the time lately, but so do lots of people. But stress, and we're reading this because of the new book, the life story or the documentary life story type of thing. And it shows stress, turbulence, major upsets possible, and I mean major upsets it could cause. And that's not going to be very good. The rest of it isn't too bad. He's got another offer coming from somebody from the coast. I think they live near the coast anyway. But there's another offer coming soon. So he's still going to be sought after. Whether he takes this offer, I don't know. It's from a man. It could be a group of people. But the main person is a man making him an offer. You can see the gesture there. Look, someone from the coast or from water. Or maybe a water sign as well. And... Um, that's not too bad, but stress is the main problem. The rest of it's on different subjects. Lots of people like Harry, but he has a, ma a secret admirer. Someone in his close circle quite fancies him. So whether he's aware of that, I don't know, but he may become aware of it soon. As far as the book goes, I think regrets are in store and he will regret releasing it. Then we have some positives. There's movement. Maybe moving house. I think I've got a feeling they're going to move house, he and his wife, Megan. I think they will move from where they are, and I think it's going to be rural, away from the madding crowd, as they say in the book. And it should bring more happiness to them. There's a couple of kids there on the, on the card, look. It shows happiness, joy, and I think it may be a relief to them to move from where they are located now. And I think that's pretty certain. I've been picking it up for a while. This card here shows things taking off. Things speeding up, not necessarily in a good way, but things taking off, lots of messages coming, interviews, phone calls, text messages, emails, letters, all kinds of furious activity, speeding up, and it can mean travel as well. So it's possible they're off on their, one of their flights somewhere, or it's not like to be on a train, is it? But they're going somewhere, possibly abroad, maybe to the UK. I think they will be coming to the UK, and I'm not talking about... The King's Coronation, I think it's something else. Now you may have spotted the Empress here, picture of a pregnant lady. Somebody close to Harry is or soon will be pregnant. And it may be announced within the next few weeks. I don't really necessarily think it's Meghan, but it could be. But that card also indicates growth, fertility, things taking off. So I think the book will sell well. I don't think it will sell as well as people expected it to. 
I think it's going to get a good panning from the press because I think they're out to get their own back on him a little bit and get a bit of revenge there. But I think he's made a few enemies recently because of the things he said in his, doc, in, in, in his film documentaries with, with, with Megan. But there are signs of another offer here as well. So there could be two offers. That's an, another chap making an offer. This is more to do with work. I think the first offer here was more to do with being filmed or being involved in filming. And I think I, think I picked up before that I believe Harry will start making his own films without the need for outsiders or directors and you know other companies but this one's a work offer and it's going to be very sought after which is I think what he wants but looking at it I think for the next 10 or 12 days 14 days the main problem is turbulence the rest of it shows growth and happiness but I want to take a look at the following week after that see if it changes as we go into the second week it is a shuffle away from the microphone and we'll take a look at the next few days. So we're looking at two or three weeks ahead now. And um, somebody's worried about it. A lady. It's not his wife. Somebody's worried about Harry. Let's show you the negatives first. Overwork. Overdoing it. Well, that's not the right word, really. He's making things harder than they should be. That's what it shows me. He's making his own life much more difficult than it should be, and he doesn't need it. Just checking the microphone. That shows a chap pushing the logs, getting nowhere. He's fighting against, well, he's fighting a losing battle, really, and he needs to pack it in, but I don't think he will. You may have guessed what this one is. This is a ten of swords. These would be spades in an ordinary deck. They're in his back, look. Knives out, backstabbing, jealousy, the whole works. That's what he's facing at the moment and will be, especially the week after next, maybe a couple of weeks from now, a lot of jealousy, a lot of backstabbing going on and I'm pretty sure he's aware of it. He's got to be careful who he trusts, of course. Trying to see some positives here. Again, another card showing overwork, pushing water uphill, I always say. You can't get anywhere. Two steps forward, ten steps backwards, or maybe two steps forward and one step backward, but he's getting nowhere fast. He's making things much more difficult for his own life than he needs to be. And it's to do with work and the accumulation of fame and money and that sort of thing. Then let's get some positives. This lady is worried about him. It's somebody, I think, not his wife, but somebody that cares about him, is worried about his state of health, maybe his mental health. I wonder if you know who this is. Let me know in the comments below if you do. Remember, if you'd like a reading off me from anywhere in the world on the phone, Go down there, it's davidcharlespsychic.com. Please subscribe to this channel if you'd like to. Follow me, give it a like if you like it, and share me with your friends. But you can get a reading of me from anywhere in the world on the telephone by going to davidcharlespsychic.com down there. There's another lady here, materialistic. This is probably Megan, almost certainly. It's the queen of pentacles. Pentacles in an ordinary deck mean diamonds, of course, and diamonds indicate money or wealth or richness. This is, this is the queen, but Megan's not going to be the queen, of course, but it's depicted of that as that kind of person who likes materialistic things. Well seated, likes a nice, comfortable place to live, that sort of thing. She's the main character in his reading, but um, I don't think they're as close as they used to be and that that could be a problem. There's a lady in spirit guiding Harry at the moment. Pretty much certainty that's Diana. And I think Diana's very upset about the way things have gone for Harry and his brother William over the last couple of years or so. And she's there trying to help put it right. Then we'll see this one. Now this one is the Ace of Cups. And Cups in psychic readings are usually about emotions. And of course they're the hearts in an ordinary deck of cards. The Ace of Cups means a new beginning. And because it's a love card, it can mean a new lover. I've got to point that out because that's what I'm being told. I think Harry has an admirer. I think a new lover is on the horizon if they haven't already met, in fact, of course. And I did say there's also a pregnancy, didn't I, in the reading. So that could be linked to that. So looking at this, he's got some good stuff, but he's got a lot of bad stuff. And a lot of it, really, 
I suppose, looking at what's gone on, is caused by his own choices of what the way he's going forwards. But um, that's the way he wants to go. So let's just take a look at a couple of Oracle cards. You may see the World card here. That, again, means travel, possibly to other countries. It can also mean that the world is your oyster. You can have a basin full of anywhere you want. But um, the big news here is backstabbing. That's the one I'm worried about. And the good news, well, not good news, but the not so bad news, is it could be a new lover. Of course, that can also mean the rekindling of an existing romance. So him and Megan may be starting again as new lovers. It doesn't necessarily mean a new lover, but it can do. Aces usually mean new beginnings. I want to take a look at four of these Oracle cards, see how they go. And I'll read for Megan in a couple of days' time. But for the moment, we're concentrating on Harry because his new book comes out, I think it's tomorrow, Tuesday. So we'll see what response it gets. This is an air card. I need the glasses for these. An air card saying to Harry, it's what I'd say if I was talking to him, that's a nice picture, above the clouds. I hope you can see that. Distract yourself with a creative pursuit and the inspiration you seek will find you. So he's looking for inspiration. He needs a creative pursuit. I think he needs to get away from the rat race that he's been involved in. And uh, he needs something to inspire him. And then he will, he will get the information or the inspiration that he needs. Dis distance yourself with creative pursuits and inspiration will seek and find you. This one's an earth card, a tree, a red tree in a red field, maybe photoshopped. This one says, see your circumstances as a blessing because they offer you a chance to grow. See your circumstances as a blessing. Obviously, he doesn't think they are a blessing at the moment, but they offer a chance to grow. An air card coming up. Another field type picture. Very nice. The divine is guiding you in your dreams. Are you listening? So it tells me, I picked up a lot of times that um, Harry has, has got some psychic ability. And this says, says, the divine is guiding you in your dreams. Are you listening? Does he listen? I wonder. Last one. It's just a short reading today. Another picture of the clouds, an air card. This one says to Harry, connect with, connect to being who you want to be and the rest will follow. He needs to be what he wants to be and not be guided by other people too much. That's the message. The message here from this reading is that the new book will cause turbulence. I don't think you need to be psychic to know that, but I think it's going to be pretty bad. I don't think it will sell as well as they thought it would, but it will sell okay. It'll do okay. It's certainly not going to lose money. So let me know all your comments. Please comment. I'll try to answer them all if I can. Give it a like if you like it. Share with your friends. And please subscribe down there. It's a, click that subscribe button. And if you click the bell icon, YouTube will notify you every time I upload a new video. And I'll be doing Megan in a few days' time. Let me know what you think. Please follow me. Give it a like. See you soon. Remember my motto, wherever you are in this beautiful world, think lucky and you'll be lucky. Think love, and you'll be loved. And I love every single one of you. So Happy New Year to all of you, especially those of you who are on your own. It does, it, I do mean that. If you're watching on your own, it's not very nice. So for the lonely people out there, Happy New Year. Take it easy. See you soon. Catch you later. Bye-bye.